So this is such an exciting day because I'm here with Ralph Cope and we are opening the first ever harness building called the Variety KC Compass. And it's all because of this man who's the smartest engineer I know that designed <laughs> this harness. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so proud because um, he invented a portable harness that Variety's bought and purchased all over town. But to have a building that is harnessed so that kids can actually go all over the classrooms, I think that's what's gonna make this school and physical therapy building the best in all the world because it's the one thing that's different is your it's, harness system. It's totally unique. There's, Tell us, how does it work? So the, the system is really pretty simple. We have two rails that we put in the ceiling. Then there's a bar that moves back and forth and the kid runs along that bar. But it lets them move in any direction they want, left, right, forward and backwards, lets them spin around, lets them jump, lets them be a kid. And the only thing between them and their friends is the thickness of that harness. Yeah. So. You know, if they want to go out and hug their mom or hug a friend, that's fine. Dance. Or dance with yeah. another kid or just bounce. That's all good. It's just part of being a kid. And the, the whole time, it's kind of like having vegetables in your dessert. They're, um, they're exercising and their brain is figuring out how to make their limbs move the way they want. But they're just having fun. So they're getting their therapy while they're just playing games with their friends. So. And what I love is it, it gets kids out of their wheelchairs and yeah. walkers and gait trainers. And how is this different than a walker or a gait trainer as far as their body? A walker and a gait trainer, they're both great items, but they, they restrict the motion. So in a lot of the gait trainers, if they try to move side to side, it restricts that and supports them. So their brain doesn't really have to figure out this side to side balance stuff. In our system, if they decide to lean sideways, they're just gonna go sideways. <laughs> so their brain all of a sudden has to figure out what's going on. And we've seen kids that are really good in gait trainers get into our systems and fall over instantly. But then after 15 or 20 minutes, their brain starts making those connections and then walking as we consider walking starts occurring. So, yeah. And today, just watching the kids uh, at the new Variety KC Compass building, which I love, um, we had a couple moms tell us that their children never started walking until they used your harness. Yeah, and it so makes true. them, it made them walk for the first time. Yeah. And for so, a parent, I mean, that's emotional. Yeah, and yeah. It's, to watch them be just like every other child. Yeah. But as the inventor of it, I bet that's just so meaningful. Yeah, and every time you ask me I this know, stuff like just, this, <laughs> you just get me to tear up, so it's really not a fair question <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but yeah, to see that, we've and we've seen that a lot of times. You know, we don't have all the clinical studies and everything, but we do have, you go and put it in a house and you see somebody walk that hasn't walked before. And um, the warm fuzzy index is really, really high with this business. Yeah. So. And to me, it's all about the inclusion. The inclusion that these kids, because they have a physical or cognitive disability, are, are the same as everyone else. And when you see them standing up and when you see that you're just playing with them and engaging with them, you forget they have a disability. You forget that there are yeah. any differences. And you just realize they become friends and they play. And that's what life yeah. is about. And I kind of want to be, that to be the new normal that everyone can play together and everyone can be together without any barriers. Yeah, they're sitting at eye level with their friends, they're not down in a chair, and so they're getting up and they're part of the action. Even if they can't support themselves fully on their own legs, they're in the middle of the game. And in some places, they're the cool kids now because yeah. they get to bounce. They have, <laughs> they, they have springs that they can kids. bounce around. I love so that. then the other kids are like, well, how do I get in that? <laughs> <laughs> it is the best. So. And I love what he has done because now we're challenging him to do more. Yeah. Uh, Variety is going to actually build two variety cafes in middle schools that will allow kids in middle school to get out of their wheelchairs and actually make coffee, serve coffee, and learn a trade. Yeah. And we're going to open that in fall, right? Yeah. So that's a, a big difference where a lot of these kids have always been served. Yeah. And so now all of a sudden you get them up and they become servers. So they're able to turn the table on literally uh, on their lives kind of. So now they're really functioning in the society in like a normal way. Like there is no disability. True inclusion. So, yeah. True inclusion. Disability is just in your brain then. It's not in your body. My, so. my new hashtag is hashtag inclusion revolution. And mm. I think we're making that happen. Huh. Yeah. Don't I you? So. Yeah. Great job. The world needs to be harnessed. Call Ralph and Variety. <laughs>